Hello friends, welcome to your channel HTEX. In the last video of Selenium basic series, we learn about the Selenium web driver, their introduction and last part was that how to use the Selenium IDE and what is the functionality of that. So today we'll see that how to export the Java code from Selenium IDE. Let's see our final course content of this Selenium basic series. The introduction part of Selenium WebDriver we already done. The WebDriver demo that part is already done. And the last series uh, of this video, like uh, we covered this installing Selenium ID and in record and play with Selenium ID. Both we covered in one video. If you are not aware of this, then please uh, watch my previous video. Then you will see that how to export Java code from Selenium ID. So today we'll see that how to export Java code from Selenium ID. So let's see that how to export that Java code from Selenium ID. So this is our browser where we have this add-on as Selenium ID. Let's click on it. Now this is the new functionality of that Selenium ID which comes with the new updated ID. So here we have several options to create new open existing that project or close. So the whole functionality I already covered in my past video. So we'll open one existing project which we created last time. So let's click on it. Now it's saved as a dot demo part. So let's search it. So this is our demo dot site dot side is selenium ide extension now i open it execute my like um, it comes with uh, my previous uh, steps as i used the facebook site and open the sign up page and cover all these steps so let's see that uh, how those steps work just execute it and it opens facebook site and it fill up the sign up page select birth of date and here you can see that it's trying to find this path now it's loading and it's wait till 30 second now that path comes it already selected that radio button of mail now it's trying to find path of second is It takes its by default weight and now it's come up with their path. See their warning that element found with secondary locator named this web submit. So that we already know that uh, IDE uh, found so many path of that particular element and it used all the path one by one if it not wound with first one. So here you can see that test login page is completed successfully. Now we are good to go and we can export our this uh, test and once we export it we can use it the same code in our selenium execution or uh, we can execute it through our eclipse ide so here you can see that this is my test case name test login page and that uh, three dots you can see once you click on it you can able to see this export option now click on that export here you can see that multiple selection of languages that C sharp and unit X unit Java J unit script Python and Ruby and there are some options so I'm not using this selenium grid you can easily use that selenium J unit as it's a latest version of selenium ID that's why you're able to see these languages but if you can see that in the previous like uh, old selenium ID then you will be able to see that multiple options that includes your test ng as well so let's see uh, that java j unit and export now once you able to that you can export it in your local window at whatever name you can provide as i select this the extra test login page test dot java now here you can see that previously it saved as dot selenium id extension but now it's saved as dot java because it already converted it into java class so now click on save I already have that already exist okay now let's go over desktop now this is your test login page 
you can open and add it to login notepad and this is your java code now you are able to see this it already take your selenium firefox driver web element and actions and other and this is your java code as in junit extensions you can see all the tags at the rate uh, after at the rate test inside test it put all the test cases and at the after this you can see driver dot close so it includes all the steps that you covered in selenium id it convert all the steps into your java code so this is how you can export your code from selenium id to java so in the next video we'll see that how to set up the selenium in your desktop and all the basics or required jars so we can download so all those stuff i will show you in the next video so thank you friends please subscribe this channel like share and comments and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the latest notification please stay with us happy learning